What is Refusing to Forget's take on the collision between the Mexican Revolution and World War I? Let's have a look. The entry of the United States into World War I brought changes to the Ranger Force that heightened this kind of retaliation against the exercise of political rights by Mexican Americans. The state expanded the Ranger Force, increasing the number of Rangers from 73 to more than 130. Context, context, context. The entry of the United States into World War I brought changes to the border because the U.S. military, 100,000 of whom had been amassed there, was now headed off to war on another continent. Because the military was leaving, the Rangers were increased. Why the U.S. entered World War I after years of neutrality matters to us, too, because it involves Texas and Mexico. In January 1917, the British intercepted and deciphered a telegram from German Foreign Minister Arthur Zimmerman. In that communique was proposed a military alliance between Germany, Mexico, and Japan if the United States entered the war. It offered to return Texas and the other southwestern states to Mexico if they played ball. The intel was passed to the United States in March 1917, and then a month later, the U.S. enters World War I using the Zimmerman telegram, Texas and Mexico, as a pretext for doing so. So Texans now worried Mexico is going to invade with Germany's support. If they did, border towns would be first to fall. More panic on the border, less army on the border. Governor Hobby calls into service the maximum number of rangers allowed by law at that time. Notice that every time there's a change somewhere on the border or something, refusing to forget claims, what is heightened? Not tensions across the board, just retaliation against Mexicans.